Hi students, welcome back. So today I am going to start a new subject that is the web technologies. Okay, web technologies. Actually, this is one of the important uh, subject. If you are, uh, if you want to develop any software product, the first thing is you need to know the basic concepts. So in this web technologies, uh, we are going to cover the topics like uh, that are useful in creating a software. Okay, to develop a software, we need to know some programming concepts. So that we discussed in this web technologies. So I hope you will uh, understand whatever I am saying in the subject. And now let's start the introduction part of this web technologies. So before knowing uh, the different software uh, programming languages uh, that are related to the web technologies, the first thing is the basic concept is you need to know about the internet. Because the internet is tied up with this web technologies. So that's why you need to know about the internet. Uh, you will get it out what she is going to tell about the internet. Because everyone knows about the internet. We are living in the world in which everyone uses the internet. Okay. That's right. We are using. Uh, we are living in this world where we are using this internet. So but you have ever think what is the history of internet. Okay. So uh, you just learn about, uh, you're just using the internet, but you don't, some of the, uh, people don't know what is the history of the internet. Uh, what is the history of internet? Okay. And what is basic services? The basic services so that is providing by the internet. Basic services provided by the internet. And what are internet search engines? And different search engines that we are used in internet and the users of this internet okay so you know about the internet means you are using the internet but some of most of the people don't know what is the history of the internet the basic services and the search engines and the users of internet so in this video I want to give an introduction part of this internet what is the history of the internet and what are the basic services that is going to provide it by the internet Okay, so let's see the definition of the internet. So, starts with the definition of the internet. What is an internet? That's a basic thing. You already know. Okay, whatever you know, just keep it in the form of a sentence. That's it. Okay, internet is a network. Right? Is it a network or not? Obviously, it is a network. It's a network of computers. Internet is a network of computers which links... Which links... Many different types of computers. Many different types of computers. All over the world. All over the world. We are connecting the different computers that are present all over the world. Okay. So, internet is a network of computers which links many different types of computers all over the world. Now, let's see the history of internet. Okay. So, we'll start the history of internet. Actually, when this internet concept is raised. So, the history of internet has its root in the ARPANET system. Okay. The root is starts with the ARPANET. So, from this, the internet is established. The history of internet has its roots in this ARPANET. The ARPANET system of so, what is this ARPANET? A is advanced, advanced research project agency of US Department of US Department of Defense. So, those people has started the concept of internet. So, they are uh, developed an internet which is a network of computers which can link many different types of computers all over the world. Okay. So, this route has started from this ARPANET. Advanced Research Project Agency of the US Department of Defense. It was the first wireless van was introduced. It was the first van and had only the four sites in 1969. So, they started this project in 1969. So, remember this. The roots of the internet has started from the ARPANET. So, ARPANET is the Advanced Research Project Agency of US Department of Defense. They started this in 1969. Okay. It was the first wireless 
types of food. Okay, so now let's see the internet evolved from uh, how it is evolved. So I state the roots are started from this ARPANET, which is the US uh, defense uh, department of the defense. The internet evolved from the basic idea of the internet evolved from basic idea, the basic idea of ARPANET. Okay, for interconnection computer, for interconnecting computers. So, the first, the basic idea of uh, uh, the internet is evolved from the basic idea of the ARPANET for interconnecting computer. They are thought that within the organization, they try to communicate, uh, connect one system with another system so that the communication can be established. Those uh, the first idea is started from this advanced research project agency of US Department of Defense for in interconnecting computers. So initially the research organization and the university used it to share and exchange information. So initially only that organization that is a US department. Uh, so that uh, initially the research organization the research organization and university, the university, the universities used it to, used it to share and exchange information. So, only within the organization they started this uh, internet. Okay, they didn't uh, evolve in the world. They just used in this uh, organization and universities, universities is, which is used to share and exchange the information. Okay, then in 1989, after that, so this is all in the in between 1969 to 1987. So, in 1989, the US government lifted restrictions to use the internet and allow it its usage for commercial purpose as well as so internet available for available for commercial purpose all over the world commercial purpose all over the world so in the in the year of 1989 the u.s government has lifted the restrictions to use the internet and allowed to its usage for commercial purpose as well so then since then the internet has grown rapidly to become the world largest network. So from that time onwards the internet becomes the world's largest network. World's largest network. Okay. So it now so from compared to the 1989 to now the internet uh, interconnects more than 30,000 networks are allowing. More than 30,000 networks are allowing more than 10 million computers. 10 more than. Always take more than. Because it is growing. It is growing day by day. So, you have to take more than. More than 30,000 networks uh, allowing and more than 10 million. 10 million computers and more than 50 million computer users. And more than... 50 million computer users in more than 150 countries in more than 150 countries 150 countries around the world to communicate with each other okay so this is the configuration means the people who are working on the internet more than 30000 networks are available in this world to for the usage of the internet and more than 10 million computers and more than 50 million computer users are all using okay and in more than 150 countries around the world to communicate with each other so the internet continues to grow at a rapid pace day by day it is growing rapidly so, this is a history of the internet, okay? So, the history, the roots of the internet, it starts from the ARPANET system of the Advanced Research Project Agency of U.S. Department of Defense. In the year of 1969, they started. After that, 
in that in between that period they just use the internet initially in this organization and universities which is used to share and exchange the information so later in 1989 the us government has lifted the restrictions to use of internet available for the commercial purpose also so then the internet has grown rapidly to become the world's largest network so i hope you understand the history of the internet thank you